All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah Kodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War. Back at you again with another lesson. And uh, this one is uh, basically entitled Confess Your Sins. All right, confess your sins. Uh, someone asked me earlier, you know, what what could they what could they do about uh, demons plaguing their mind in the root of lust? And um, you know, all I could think of is a few things that I experienced and learned is uh, one thing to start in is confessing your sins to the Lord. All right, because confessing is uh, it's a form of repenting and you're repenting from iniquity you're repenting from sins all right what is sin sin is transgression of the lord's law statutes and commandments and um a lot of times well let me see most of the time all right we're plagued and we have demons on us because of our sins because we're in sinful flesh Remember, you know, we're, we're in this truth and, you know, we call, we are called what? The hopeful elect, meaning we hope to be the elect, which to be made perfect, being part of the first resurrection. Remember, you know, the curses that's written in Deuteronomy 28 chapter, starting at the 15th verse, they apply unto us as well. But, you know, the Lord ease up those curses because we're praying for mercy. We're praying for an escape, a way out. We're praying to Yahweh Shai for the grace, you know, so that we can persevere and get through our hard troubles and sufferings. So one way to get rid of demons is to confess, all right? You confess your sins to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. And um, sometimes we pray the Lord don't answer right away so you know you go into doing other things so hopefully the Lord you know come through and heal you you know because we need a healer we need a savior man from this God forsaken wicked society man we need a savior man we need Yahweh Shai and if you're not in need of Yahweh Shai then you're gonna die in this wicked ass sinful world man ran by Esau you know we're looking to live all right so we're not looking to save our life according to this world but to save our life in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in the life to come all right in the world to come okay so anyway I want to read a few scriptures I got like four precepts that came to mind so let's read this is James chapter 5 verse 16 confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that ye may be healed the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man alleveth much okay so confession matter of fact let's uh, go into that word confession here in the blue letter and let's see what it gives us Strong's G, 1843, Examalageo, Examalageo. Okay. It says, um, to confess, to profess, okay? Acknowledge openly and joyfully to one's honor, to celebrate, give praise to. To profess that one will do something to promise, agree, engage. Okay? So it says, um, agree fully, confess, profess, promise. To acknowledge. Alright, we want the Lord to acknowledge, acknowledge, and forgive us for our sin. So confess means to profess. Alright? So let's go back. It says, confess your faults one to another and pray one for another so 
in some cases, you know, you with a brother, all right, and um, you know, you might be thinking about uh, something wicked that you want to get over and want the Lord to heal you from, you know, you, you confess to a brother, you know, you confess to a brother, all right, to, uh, to basically get rid of the sin, man. You confess to a brother to get rid of the demon, okay? By getting rid of the demon, you know, one way of getting rid of it is confessing it, making it openly, all right, about what the wrong you've done. And that's the step because demons, they, they thrive in secrecy, okay? Demons thrive in secrecy, all right, which is in the dark. So in secrecy, they thrive. But in openly confessing of your fault, which is showing repentance, they leave through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai. They can't live. All right. Let's say, well, they can't thrive. They can't thrive. All right. And may Yahweh Bashim Shai see your openly confessing and forgive you for the wrong that you have done. So getting rid of demons, one step is to confess. You know, because the secretly that you got it in and you're not saying nothing, it thrives, it festers. One thing turned to another. You know, you're not cleansed. You're just burying the demon. And at any given moment of trouble, that demon going to come out of you. And the true you, is, 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 which is that demon going to show, you know. So we want to be cleansed, you know, even though we're not going to be fully cleansed. Until we made perfect through Yahweh Shai. And that's the reenact, the, that's the uh, activation of the Lord's new covenant when He comes to change our bodies with, with deliverance. Okay? But we can fight. So it says, Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another, that ye may be healed. The effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man alleviateth much. Okay? So, you know, when you look at Jake, you look at Jake. You know, two thirds, they may ask, they see you, and they may say, Yo, bro, could you pray for me? You know, well, you know, you say, you say in our minds, Yeah, look at this nigga. Why don't you pray for yourself, man? You fucking wicked dude. You know? But, you know, it's a spiritual, a spiritual behind that. He's asking because he sees, he knows through his spirit that the Lord will listen to you before him. So you take that, you know, if it's sincere, you know, you know, you know that, uh, you know, the man is looking for repentance and guidance. Same as a sister that so-called believe. Same as a sister that believes, all right? You know, that's believing in his truth if, she, if they're sincere, you know? So it's the spiritual, spiritual behind that when a man or woman asks you for you to pray for them. But you got to read their spirit to see whether it's sincere, you know? All right, so it says, The effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man alleviateth much. So you want righteous men to pray for you, you know? You want the righteous men, the men that the Lord dwell with, the prophets, all right? The prophets got the ability from the Most High and Yahweh Shai to bless and to curse, all right? People get all upset when, um, when we get the cursing out and putting up a curse on the wicked, you know? And they don't understand, you know? They uh, think it's witchcraft or some shit. You know, or they get angry and mad because they they thrive off uh, they thrive off negativity instead of positivity. You know, and that was the wicked spirits that's on them. But we have, but let's say the prophets, one of the Lord's whole four elect, is that we have the power to bless and to curse. So what we want is the blessing from the prophet, man, not the curse. Remember, uh, the lot the Lord said. I believe it's in 1 Peter or 2 Peter, he said he hears the prayers of the righteous. All right, not of the wicked, but of the righteous. So who the Lord answers his prayers, hit the prayers to? The righteous. Okay, so now let's, uh, so I can. Okay, let's move on. This is in the book of 1 John, chapter one. And uh, start at verse eight. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. That's heavy, man. Let me read that again. If we say that we have no sin, 
we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. So that's a clear cut on these Christianity churches, these government churches, and a dogma, okay, that they spew. Who mouths, who mouths must be stopped, man. Okay? Because they believe that the Lord, who they ignorantly call Jesus Christ, died for their sins. And that they could do whatever they want. Scriptures tell you that's, that's not the case. So verse 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So you see, we want to be cleansed. We want to be forgiven. We want the Lord to acknowledge our profess, confession of our fault, our transgression against the Lord's laws, because that's what sin is. Sin is a transgression of the Lord's law, statutes and commandments. So if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. All right? So confession is a step in getting rid of those demons that plague your mind. And we have to pray every day. The Lord said, pray without ceasing. You know, you wake up to this truth, you pray, you don't stop there. You don't just quit. You don't just say, oh, well, I believe that's it. You have to believe every day. You have to confess your fault every day. Scriptures say we all fall short of the glory of the Most High. So that means we're not perfect yet. We're going to make mistakes and we're going to be at fault until the Lord come change our bodies and make us perfect through his deliverance, through the healing of his wings. Okay? So it's every day you have to pray. You know, you don't just pray when you're down and then you forget about the Lord when you're up and joyful. We pray when we're joyful too. Because it's the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, the Father and the Son, that gives us the Rakakwadash, the Holy Spirit, to rejoice. When the moments we get the chance to rejoice. Because most of the time we're suffering, man. You know, scriptures say, surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. So don't think it's strange when you always upset. You're always on one. You know, you're at the tip of 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 a uh, of break of your breaking point but you but spiritually you know the lord is holding us together you know all right it's a must that we cry out you know the lord put us in this predicament he put us in a situation he put us in slavery so that we cry out all right another reason how you um you know you get sick is because of sin and i believe that's in the apocrypha when it goes into um the physician Lord willing, I leave it in the post-production. You know, you're sick be because some, most of the time you're sick because of, of the sins you committed, whether in this life or your past. All right. And remember, the curses of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai have been put upon us for our transgressions of his law. So, yes, we are we in the truth. We believe we're, we're doing what the Lord said to do. But remember, the curses are still there. It's just been eased up a little a little bit. So that we could persevere and get through all right the more we strive for perfection and righteousness even though we're not going to be perfectly perfect until the lord activate that new covenant but the lord sees our sincerity and he shows us mercy that's the point man that's the point okay it says if we confess our sins he is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness so you got a problem with lust okay you got a problem with lust now the word lust itself is not a bad thing all right lust is not a bad thing it's according you have to use lust according to balance all right just because somebody say you're lusting doesn't mean you're wicked you can lust in righteousness and you can lust in wickedness when you lust when you overly lust it's going to lead to wickedness or it's going to lead you know it's going to lead to destruction when you overly lust and i give you an example you know it's okay to lust after food wine you know but when you overly lust after these things too much is bad for you so if you over lust in food because you're a foodie you love to eat you love the food the the, the, the the salt you know the different spices and you got you like you know you like the grub and that's your thing you overly doing it it's going to hurt you it's going to put loot the body 
you're going to start developing firmities, you're going to get stubborn fat, you know, and so on. And then what? You're, you know, you're, you're dying. But if you balance and use diet, you know, and sacrifice, because sacrifice is needed in this time. In order to save the flesh is the sacrifice in a way. You know, you sacrifice to balance. All right. Now, when you're lusting after things that are wicked, like being an adulterer, all right, a woman jumping from man to man, she lusting after another man, all right, or you got men chasing after other men's wives, all right. So like you. Okay, you got men chasing after other men's wives and so on. All right, that, that's wicked lust. So it says, uh, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And uh, another thing, King David, <clears throat> King David uh, taught us how to pray and how to, you know, talk to the Lord and, and uh, please the Lord in repentance asking the lord for mercy because the lord is very merciful as the scripture say you know so praying constantly you know with the lord in all our thoughts every day you know uh the lord get rid of those demons verse 10 it says if we say that we have not sinned we make him a liar and his word is not in us all right so that's another cut on those christianity churches all right because they say that they now sin all right because they think they've been baptized to the Lord and here they are they don't understand baptism all right baptism is the, the repenting uh, is the uh, washing of the word uh, renewing of the mind and being washed by the word all right so let's move on this is um, in the book of Matthews chapter 17 verse 21 and I get straight to the point it says, how be it, this kind goeth not out, but by prayer and fasting. Now, this is Yahweh Shai speaking to the disciples one on, uh, one on one. And there was an account where they couldn't, t they couldn't um, deliver this man from his demons. Matter of fact, I have to read into it. Let's just read a couple verses. Uh, okay, I'll start at... Okay, i start at 14. Matthew 17, 14. And when they were come to the multitude, they came to him a certain man, kneeling down to him and saying, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is lunatic and sore vexed. For aforetimes he falleth into the fire and off into the water. And I brought him to thy disciples, and they could cure, and they could not cure him. Then Yahawashai answered and said, O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him hither to me. And Yahawashai rebuked the devil, and he departed out of him, and the child was cured from that very hour. Then came the disciples to Yahawashai apart and said, Why could not we cast him out? And Yahawashai said unto them, Because of your unbelief. For verily I say unto you, if ye have faith as a grain of a mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. All right. So, you see, there's another, there's another reason why. All right, you're not uh, them demons are not leaving or, you know, from the from your mind, or bothering you because you you lack faith. All right, this thing of ours is all about faith. Okay, so here it is, Yahweh Shai speaking to the disciples, and he said, because of your unbelief, meaning they needed to be stronger in the faith. You know, so us brothers are of the whole four elect, you know, the goings are getting tough, and Jacob's trouble is going to come. We're going to need great faith. And as it says, if ye have faith as a grain of a mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove and nothing shall be impossible unto you. And that's heavy, man. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Because with faith, there's nothing impossible to the Most High. Paul said, we're more than conquerors through him that love us. He said, we are killed, we are killed all the day long. Nay, meaning no, we are killed all the day long. But no, we're more than conquerors through Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai that love us. 
all right because the lord works through us he shows forth his power through his people starting with his prophets okay and that's by the speaking of his word unto the manifestation of his come all right so another way of getting rid of demons you have to believe you have to believe man uh you know when we say in the hebrew toward the uh the end of your prayer you say baba kusha baba kusha baba kusha baba kusha yahweh bashim yahweh shai the water the water the water the water to up all right you're saying please 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 yahweh bashim yahweh shai thank you thank you thank you now when you're saying thank you you're already saying the lord is going to do it because you believe he's going to do it you believe he's going to get rid of it so it's all about belief okay so um uh, verse 21 how be it this kind goeth not out but by prayer and fasting so there's another gem that we have to use in order to uh get rid of you know those demons is fasting we're praying we're confessing all right we're, we're uh practice we're rehearsing our faith you know making our faith stronger and believing and trusting in the lord matter of fact i think in uh psalms 55 toward the end of the verse it says cast your cares upon the lord all right i'll leave that in the post-production and it says how be it this kind goeth not out but by prayer and fasting so to get rid of demons you have to fast okay fasting afflicts the soul and the lord see your, sees your sincerity all right i want to get up out of this little area because it's getting really dark all right so uh before i do so i'm gonna speed up the lesson lord willing and uh grab these few last precepts i wrote down and matter of fact this is the last one anyway this is uh excuse me this is in a book of ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 okay now it says finally my brethren be strong in the lord and in the power of his might put on the whole arm of yahweh that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil all right so we have to be strong in the lord and in the power of his might what is the power of his might this word faith okay it says put on the whole armor of the most high that ye be able that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil so how do you stand against the trickeries of satan all right by faith by confession by believing all right by being what by being renewed in the mind and being washed by this word okay these are the ways okay to, to uh, stand against the wiles of the devil which is the trickery you know so the person you know you asked me you know and this wasn't a comment board question it was more so in person so you asked me you know how to get rid of those demons you know i'm giving you a few pointers all right where these things you should act upon or do faithfully fervently, consistently you know to to for the lord to get rid of it you know all right uh verse uh 12 for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against the rulers of darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places you see that so we're not dealing with uh let me let me walk out of here matter of fact come right back okay so let me uh continue to read again ephesians 6 and 12 for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against the rulers of darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness and high places okay so we're dealing with spirits all right it says spiritual wickedness and high places and that's the demon forces that's governing the world through satan and his counterpart which is esau idumia all right everything around us on television to what you're seeing with your bodily eyes when it comes to the system and the agendas that's being pushed it's all through the power of satan all right but ultimately it's up the most high all right so we're fighting in hell to see heaven so this is what we're fighting against for we wrestle not against flesh and blood remember everything starts with the spirit all right you know, like somebody acting out being evil toward you it's their spirit it's the spirit that's on them 
and there being Satan. So it says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, all right? Against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world. So what is the dark? That's witchcraft, man, okay? Foods have witch, have demons on it. I remember Elder Apostle Tahar, he said, pray, you know, uh, over your food and ask the Lord to take those demons off the food, man. And that's so true. You know, we're supposed to pray over our food and everything that we consume because the scriptures do say we shall eat poison and live. So you have to pray to get those demons off. And some of the foods we're eating, it's not even food, okay? And it's got all, type, all types of uh, DNA, uh, chemicals, all right, everything defiling to the flesh. And that's against the Lord's law, all right? It's in those foods. So our bodies, all right, by eating those foods and the demons that are on those foods are gonna be on you. So it's a must that we pray and confess. You know, like again, this, this topic is about confession, just a few tips and getting rid of, you know, those demons plaguing your mind. These are the things that you should do, as the scriptures say, as Yahweh Shai have said. All right. So it says, uh, against spiritual wickedness in high places. It says, wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. So by us crying out for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof, may Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai uh, put that, that mark upon our foreheads which that mark goes into the hebrew word the why so that we can be exempt from the judgment of the lord all right isaiah the 13th chapter it said the lord cometh cruel wrath and fierce anger man okay so the lord is coming al -Asijah. he's the devastator okay he's coming to devastate this world he's coming to shake things up he's coming to reset the real reset all right not to build back better plan from idumia which is uh greek for edom all right but the real reset when he when john the revelator saw the vision of of us being cast you know out of the chariots you know and bringing a new forth a new heaven on earth all right when he saw that that's prophecy all right so even when i said that let's move on real quick and this is my last scripture this is in the book of so like it, what is it? Oh, 1 Thessalonians, the fifth chapter. All right? Because the Lord is coming cruel. All right? And the Lord gave us the tools to do, to, to take advantage of these gems. All right? To uh, withstand in the last day. And we are in that last day. All right? So let's come read. It's a 1 Thessalonians 5 and 1. But of the times and seasons, brethren, Ye have no need that I write unto you, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. You can see it, man. All right, because you have the prophecies fulfilling. The last few prophecies, like the MOB, they don't want us to talk about that now. They don't want us to talk about the punch, which is a prelude to the MOB. They don't want us to talk about it because when you read in... Um, wisdom of solomon the second chapter the scriptures say we were made to reprove his thoughts so when the men of the lord as a watchtower get report and word of the lord to be reproved and then they make it plain upon tables that him may that he may run that read of it by doing these epistles and shows and live streams all right pushing the gospel and his prophecies they know that we were made to reprove their thoughts you know, they second guess themselves. They get upset because they're being accused of their wicked deeds, you know? But it is what it is, because it's all according to Yahweh's Bashim Shai's will. So let me continue and finish up. It says, verse three, 1 Thessalonians 5 and three, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travailed upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye brethren are not in darkness that that day shall overtake you as a thief ye are all the children of light and the children of the day we are not of the night nor of darkness 
Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sobered. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that are drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sobered, putting on the breastplate of faith and love for an helmet of hope, for an helmet, the hope of salvation. Here's a, here's a point. For Yahweh have not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. So that's the point, man. So I hope this lesson was edifying. Hope it answered the question and gave you some pointers on the fact of, you know, confession is a step, it's, it's an act of repentance, and it's a step of getting rid of those demons that plague your mind. You know, like Apostle, I mean, excuse me, King David, you know, he said, wash me with his sock, make me clean, renew a right spirit within me every day. And that's how we want to live, man. So, Lord willing, you know, I pray this blessing will be edifying to those of the whole four elect. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.